a shower. How about that, Isabel? So close. <laughs> Sounds a little bit more forecast-like. Maybe you saw Terminal Tower yesterday. It was lit up all in pink for MGK in town, but things have obviously changed. MG MGK is not here anymore. Maybe he is waking up this morning and heading out of Cleveland. Well, when it comes to any flights this morning, no major issues. Temperatures are going to go from the 60s back in the 70s. And the kicker to the forecast today is going to be the cloud cover. So if you do have any outdoor plans, know that there is a chance for a passing shower. And some of you even waking up this morning to one of those that it's farther west. I'll show you a radar here in just a second. When it comes to tomorrow as well, we don't really back off on any of our rain chances. They're not too drastic though, isolated in nature for the next couple of days. So some of us will see rain and most of us honestly won't. And so that does still mean you have to get out and water the gardens, the flowers, all the above. You know the drill this time of the year, but our temperatures are going to remain slightly below where they should be for this time of the year. So that is where we are going to start because you care about the temperatures as you wrap up the weekend and how you're starting the beginning of the work week. Well, temperatures themselves are actually going to be almost nearly 10 degrees below where they should be. We should be in the low 80s. Today we're going to be in the low to mid 70s. We do kind of stretch back up into the upper 70s as we approach tomorrow and then we kind of hold there for the next couple of days. We do return back into the 80s closer to seasonable by Thursday and that will come with the return of an abundance of sunshine. For the next few days, though, we really deal with the same system. It's just parked to our west. This area of low pressure continuing to bring some of these rain chances just to the west of us. The majority of them through the state of Indiana and part of Ohio, just really not northeast Ohio. If you are traveling, though, through parts of northwest Ohio, that's where the majority of the moderate rainfall exists this morning. High pressure just exited, so all the sunshine we did see to wrap up the work week here is kind of leaving. And you noticed that yesterday. You noticed the change with the cloud cover in place and now once again yes some of us seeing a few sprinkles this morning this really isn't amounting to much and honestly all of the rain that we will experience for the next few days won't amount to much so late rainfall from parts of Huron County all the way down to Holmes and Tuscarora's County at the moment but planning out the rest of your day today because that's what matters of course of course in your national design right hour by our forecast we keep those chances with us through even midday if you have to head out this morning for any church service plans especially south and west keep an umbrella handy. You won't need it at all times throughout the day and especially if you're headed maybe out to Little Italy today. Just keep it with you. You might need to grab it. You might not, but nonetheless you have it there if you need it. We keep the cloud cover with us and then we even toss those chances up early tomorrow morning too. Some of you might need a windshield wipe moving from time to time and then even through the second half of tomorrow, but it's not going to be a complete washout scenario through tomorrow through the rest of the week too. In your Union Home Mortgage Extended Forecast, we do head back into the 80s as I mentioned. That happens Thursday. We are back in the 80s for Friday and we stay there for Saturday. But nonetheless, a slightly below normal kind of situation that's playing out this week. Isabel. All right, Peyton, thank you so much.